Hey guys, welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. And I want to let you know, I really do appreciate you being here, whichever platforms you're listening to this on. If you are a subscriber, I appreciate it. If you have not subscribed yet, please do go ahead and subscribe. And if you're listening to this on YouTube while you're at it, go ahead and hit that like button. It's like walking into the room and hitting that light switch. We just want to go ahead and brighten up the place. So let's get into this conversation. I saw this and I really just wanted to talk about it, guys, because one of the things that I don't get about some people to each their own, but when it comes to people doing tributes to people on social media, like happy birthday, happy Mother's Day, happy anniversary, all that type of stuff to somebody that you can just really speak to directly. Okay, like just just do it with them directly. But I get it. We live in this age of social media where people want everything to be seen and heard by everyone else besides the person that they're speaking to. And a lot of times it's for the optics, right? But I don't know if Derek Jackson and his, I guess, still wife, Danaea Jackson, are communicating with each other because we heard months ago that he was down in Miami partying it up with some chick and and that he had filed for divorce once it was exposed because he was exposed a couple of years ago about being a fraud, being out here on social media, speaking to women directly, the chicks falling for the banana in the tailpipe, thinking that this man is genuine and sincere, giving relationship advice and tips about what women should not accept what they should look for all of these different things and he was the main culprit of what he was warning women about you know but (laughs) Danaea she faced a lot of public ridicule and scrutiny after and even some of the things that you know she just did on her own that I even responded to where she was pretty much out here cursing people that were speaking what she called against her her marriage, her husband against her, speaking curses on people. And then not long after that, it came out that he had still been unfaithful and he'd been cheating on her. So I don't know what the situation is between those two right now. But he decided to do a Mother's Day tribute to her on his social media and I wanted to talk about this it was featured on the shade room and I thought it was kind of funny because he wrote happy mother's day Danaea which he has this picture of her which she's a beautiful woman no doubt about it but she had been known for wearing the bonnets and and dressing in camel gear and wearing the whatever she called her her gear, which was supposed to be like, I guess, spiritual gear for spiritual warfare. I don't know. (laughs) But he decided to put this out there on social media. And I wanted to talk about it because people were talking and I agree with a lot of the things that people are saying. I haven't even read the comments yet. So this is going to be my reaction to his post and I'm going to read some of the comments. So He says, happy Mother's Day, Danaea. No matter what changes we've had in our lives, I've never seen changes in your dedication to our children. Thank you for showing up for them, even in times you struggled to show up for yourself. Thank you for learning a whole new love language so you could better give and receive love with Marley. Thank you for always being a nurturing, safe space for Derek Jr. to express his emotions in a healthy way. Thank you for somehow keeping up with Alicia's sporadic sleep schedule and high energy. Mothers like you don't get enough credit, but on today, I hope you feel as appreciated as you are. Our children are blessed to have you in their lives, and I will always honor you for the endless sacrifices you make for them. Happy Mother's Day. Bull crap. Because here's the thing, and this is the thing that pisses me off about people like him, Martel Holtz of the world, when they use words that they don't operate in in their lives overall. It's not even in your character. So for him to say, I will always honor you. No, you haven't. 
you've been disgusting and deplorable behind her back. A lot of things that she knew about that she was probably in denial about and was endlessly fasting and praying and getting on her knees and speaking in tongues and 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 just praying the heavens down, hoping that you would have a change of heart and a change of mind to leave these other chicks alone and just have eyes only for her. It was not working because you just were not an honorable person. So for him to say, I will always honor you for the endless sacrifices you make for them, you didn't honor her. You didn't. Okay? And he says these things like, you may not have shown up for yourself, but you always showed up for the children. Okay, if you knew she was going through things, postpartum depression, depression overall, feelings of you know low self-esteem, no self-worth, not feeling like she's good enough for you, trying to be the woman that you wanted her to be and you didn't want that and you kept stringing her along and doing reckless things by sleeping around with other people on her, is absolutely insane. It's absolutely crazy, right? But he decided to be in his feelings and emotions and put this out here on social media, thinking that it was going to be well-deserved or well-received, I should say. Her honor is well-deserved, but you have not been honoring her. So just doing a freaking dry Mother's Day, happy Mother's Day post on social media is crazy. So I'm going to read some of these comments, okay? Because the Shade Room says, Derek Jackson pens a heartfelt message to his ex-wife. So maybe the divorce is final. I don't know. I haven't heard about that. Denea Jackson, as he celebrates her for Mother's Day. And someone writes, quote, even in times you struggle to show up for yourself, end quote, Please stop giving people the opportunity to disrespect y'all over and over again. The audacity. And I agree. (laughs) Another one says, thank you for surviving all the horrible things I did to you. I haven't changed a bit. Happy Mother's Day. (laughs) Someone else says, men will really embarrass you and continue to mindlessly remind everyone about it. And there's that part, because like I said, he decided to put this so-called tribute post to wish her a happy Mother's Day on social media for everyone to see instead of just giving her a card that no one else would be privy to or sending her a video message directly. I don't know. (laughs) So another one says, and this is a guy, (laughs) he says, bro could have texted this to her (laughs) exactly we wouldn't know about it unless she shared the text on social media and said look what this nigga had the nerve to send to me today guys i just wanted y'all to read it i'm just saying all right another one says and they're adding what they felt like he should have put also quote i'm sorry i ain't chat (laughs) and place you in the predicament to have to be a single mother because i ain't chat (laughs) <laughs> true 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 someone else wrote he probably wrote this he probably wrote this in his car too because you know he does those car videos i've never watched any of his videos i honestly i've never followed this guy i've seen clips of his on other people's commentary and i used to see stuff of his in my youtube feed every now and then but i never got tempted to click on anything that he shared so i just i, I just couldn't but I always saw him sitting in the car, (laughs) okay? So that one's kind of funny. Someone else says, this is so backhanded. And then another person says, meanwhile, she's performing religious curses on that N-word daily, (laughs) LOL. (laughs) Oh my gosh. Someone else says, and she was all of this to his children, yet he, dot, 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 never mind. I'm the one that I don't want to hear, I'm sorry. I apologize or for you to give me accolades after you've treated me like crap and humiliated me publicly. Exactly. And the comment continues, don't thank me publicly in a way pretending that you have any redeeming qualities over that, over the fact that you are manipulative. Better yet, keep my name out of your mouth altogether. I hope this woman continues to heal 
and flourish. She deserves better than anything he ever had to offer. And I 100% agree with that. So I just feel that someone like this person to have the audacity to put this post out there on social media, you didn't do this for her. This is what we have to realize, okay? He did not do this post for her because initially reading it, I get it. And I agree with a lot of the commenters who are like, why couldn't you just send this to her directly? The reason being is because he didn't do it for her. He did it for the public, hoping that he would get some people that would fall for the the games because he is looking to try to make some sort of not even maybe a comeback, but have a rebirth, a fresh new, fresh new start. So he wants to show that he's redeemable. So the reason he did this was for someone like this person that wrote this comment that says, and this was a female, (laughs) this was sweet with a heart emoji. The comments are weird. So just because he has cheated, he can't honor the mother of his kids the people who follow her can tell she probably needed to hear this today. And see, that's the that's the reason he did this post. That's the reason, because he's hoping to get to people like that person who left this comment because he's trying to rebrand. He's trying to make a comeback. He's wanting a fresh new start. He wants to manipulate the masses and he has to be able to get his foot in the door to do that. So... That's the reason why he did this post on social media. It had nothing to do with Denea overall. Because again, he could have just given her a card. He could have sent her some flowers. Happy Mother's Day. And like the other person said, he could have just texted this to her. (laughs) Okay? So this had nothing to do with her. It was all about the, the viewing audience. Because he wants to get back to the bag. He needs it, I'm quite sure. I'm surprised he hasn't turned to the church and and you know gotten into that arena to try to manipulate the masses because people like that usually do stuff like that because you tend to get more people that are more forgiving and you know they they want to root for the underdog and they want to see you not really so much make a comeback to who you were before but they want to see you as a changed man who fell down but now he got up and he's changed his ways and he is a man of God now and he's seen the error of his ways and yet he committed adultery but now he's saved sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost I just don't buy it this is all a stunt for the purposes of trying to make a comeback so I just really found it funny it's not 100% surprising but I just wanted to talk about it guys as much as I have talked about his ex-wife before, and not so much talking about her, but just in response to things that have been done and things that she has said, I do feel for her. I feel for her as a woman. I feel for her as a mother. No woman deserves trash like him and to be put out there on Front Street to have to deal with it. I don't know where she is mentally at this point in time, but I just really hope that She is showing up for herself. Like he said, he saw she didn't really do a lot of times. I hope she is showing up for herself now. And in that showing up for herself, she's rejecting the bullcrap that he's spewing because I hope at this point in time, she realizes who he really is. And like we've learned, and Maya Angelou said many, many years ago, when someone shows you who they are, believe them the first time so guys you can let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below respectfully thank you so much for liking and subscribing i'm beth and i'm just being beautifully honest so until the next time i just wanted to keep it brief beautiful and now i'm going to say bye